So can you tell us a little bit about your character in Strike Back Project Dawn? Colonel Elena Grant, she is the commanding officer of Section 20, which is the Special Ops Unit, and uh, she's very cool, very tough, and very deadly. Michael Stonebridge is um, one of the heads of Section 20, which is an elite organization that uh, hunts down uh, global terrorists, and uh, we are in the midst of looking for a man named Latif, who is possibly... Uh, able to get his hands on some chemical weapons and uh, distribute them in major cities around the world. Um, Michael is uh, pretty straight-laced, pretty by the book. Uh, he, um, I think his biggest challenge throughout this show is trying to maintain some sort of balance between his marriage and his work life, which is sort of, you know, this gun-toting military SAS guy and, uh, and being a father and a husband. Uh, Damien Scott is, is, uh, was ex-Delta Force, dishonorably discharged uh, through no fault of his own, um, and Section 20, uh, a British Black Ops Army uh, unit, come to find him and ask for his help in uh, finding and identifying this terrorist, Latif. When, when Michael first meets Damien, I think he, he looks at him and, and goes, who is this guy, and why is he the only one who can help us? You know, um, and then uh, throughout the course of getting in trouble together and saving each other's lives, I think he starts to realise that there's more to this guy than meets the eye. And there's a continuing story arc sort of running through this series. What hints can you give us about that? Well, throughout we are pursuing the terrorist Latif. He is our main objective. We believe that he has been involved in the kidnapping and um, uh, of one of our operatives named John Porter, played by Richard Armitage, which, who was the star of the first season. Um, we find out that Latif has possibly got his hands on some chemical weapons and a means that is quite questionable of uh, a questionable means of deploying those in major cities around Europe. And so the main story is kind of finding him, tracking him down, tracking the other assassins and the other terrorists that he's using to get his hands on these weapons. And it's kind of that, you know, that tree that goes out from underneath him, the kind of pyramid effect of people he's using. I think for Colonel Grant, there's almost a, there's a, there's a respect because they're, they're equal, equally intelligent, you know, very well matched, but on either side of, of the law as such. Um, so her pursuit of him ends up becoming quite personal. It seems like filming Strike Back would be every boy's dream. Is it as much fun as it looks? It is, dude. It is. Um, yeah. Yeah. Straight out, yeah. It was, it was that much fun. Literally, it was live fire exercises on the shooting range with MP5s, M4s, Dragunov sniper rifles. We were doing room clearance, uh, you know, going in in full webbing, flat jackets, helmets, all the gear, learning how to clear a room. Jump out of choppers, hang out of choppers. Um, Bash, bash people, <laughs> and, and you know, all bad guys, um, chase girls around, uh, blow shit up. We did evasive maneuver driving where we trashed, uh, we trashed a BMW and uh, drove it all around downtown uh, Cape Town, all the way doing handbrake turns and shooting out the window. I mean, it was just, it was ludicrously good fun. That's our days at work. Yeah. That's quite fun. That's quite a lot of fun. In terms of the action and the sense of scale, do you think that Strike Back is quite unique in terms of British television? Oh, definitely. I don't think, any, I don't think we've done anything like this before. I mean, I love all the, all the spy stuff that we have and the spooks and things like that, but I don't think it's been done on British television on, on this scale. And would you be interested in starring in a third season of Strike Back if the opportunity arose? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Um, or fourth or fifth. You know, it's... Uh, it's a great way to spend six months. I would absolutely be up for it. Um, you know, anytime you get to show up to work and shoot an AK-47 and, uh, you know, do handbrake turns on main streets in Cape Town, it's a, it's a day I want to show up for. So I'd definitely do a third season. This is absolutely a roller coaster. It really is. And as I said, it doesn't stop. It really doesn't stop. And if you want thrills, if you like your action, if you like a little sex of time, <laughs> we've got it all. We've absolutely got it all. So... I, you know, regardless, if I wasn't in the show, I'd be watching it. It's my, my type of thing.